Simon sent the Vax Air Stretch Pet and I've been using it now for the past couple of months and I have to say it's amazing. Um, before this I have had a few hoovers and um, they never seem to pick up all the hair and loose ends on my carpet as well as this does. I can honestly say that this vacuum cleaner has made hoovering up my house so much easier. So it's an upright vacuum cleaner and it's also bagless but it's really easy to empty. You just simply click the lock button with, with your thumb or holding it and you take it out to your bin and take off, you either press that button there and it empties from the bottom, you have to excuse the fact that mine is a bit full, we have been using it rather a lot and I do actually need to give it a clean, um, so I feel a bit ashamed that I'm showing this for the video but I'm just trying to show you that how hard this vacuum cleaner works. Um, if you've got uh, a lot of stuff to get out then you can actually um, loosen it here to, and um, that's also how you move the filters to give it a clean but it's really easy to empty. Um, it, you can't hoover too much, it needs um, emptying quite often but that's fine, it's, it's, um, it's, I think it's still much easier than having to have a bag. And again to put it back on, you simply clang, stand it down and it clicks into place. Now the other good thing about this Hoover is it has a very long lead. This lead enables me to plug this in downstairs and I can go all the way upstairs at the top of the house and into all of the bedrooms easily without having to um, unplug it downstairs and plug it in again upstairs. So that's a great thing not to have to worry about. It also comes with lots of attachments. So the Vax Air Stretch Pet comes with some very handy attachments. We have this super duper extendable hose that attaches onto the one that's already onto the hoover, which enables you to reach high places. You have this two-in-one brush, so you've got bits for doing hard surfaces um, or going around maybe the edge of your carpet near the skirting board. And then if you push it up, hang on. So in two pieces so you can either have them together or separate and also you've got the brush then for doing um, maybe paintwork, woodwork, ceilings for cobwebs etc and then it also comes with two of these brush attachments these are brilliant for picking up your pet hair and I'll be showing you how that works shortly these ones which are really good for picking up your pet hair and actually when it comes to me human hair because my long hair falls out on the carpet quite a lot so it, it's definitely made a big difference to my bedroom my hair gets picked up really easily and then it also has an extendable st um, stick so you can have it higher or lower I'm going to show you how that works so you have to squeeze this and move it up or down this is very easy to record I'm going to have a go like that and then you squeeze it and you can bring it up so I hope when I edit this that shows how it works. Um, it also comes with an extra some extra um, of the hose. This is great again for when you've got to get up to your ceilings. You literally attach it to the one that's currently in the machine and everything comes in really easily. You press the blue button and it comes away. Obviously because I've got my phone in my hand isn't very easy but it does come away really easily and then you connect it by simply getting the bottom of this hose and popping it in there like so. Got a lovely long stretchy um, cleaning utensil there perfect for doing cobwebs and um, up in the ceiling and things and then again to take it apart you literally press down on that and then you pull it away there and then that one goes back in there so you can use the hoover. And then that one can be stored it goes and clicks into place. So everything is blue and grey. The blue bits are generally the things that you have to um, press down to open or activate things. Um, as you can see, you've got deep pile carpet, low pile carpet and hard floor. So you select your floor type. So this is perfect for my lounge, and then you slide it across, and that's perfect for my kitchen and for the type of carpet we've got for going through the rest of the house. Okay, so to get to Hoover to work, 
You simply put your foot on there in the reclining position, and then obviously your foot goes. And then to stop it and stand it upright, it clicks back into place. It's got a simple on off button there, and then um, that one is actually like a turbocharge button. And when you press it, a green light appears on the Hoover, and it makes it work much harder at picking up all that hair and fluff on your carpet, which I'll be showing you in a bit. It's got a lovely handle. It's very ergonomic, it's really nice to use, and I like the fact that because this can be adjusted, it's good for someone who's tall like myself, I'm five foot eight. Equally, if you lower it down, it can be ideal for some of my shorter friends. <laughs> it also has a really good way of carrying it. You literally pick it up like that, and then you can walk it about. It's not too heavy. I mean, I know I'm quite a strong, well-built, tall woman, but I would say that you know, that's quite easy. That's not really very heavy at all for a stand up, stand up hoover. The lead, the cord can be wrapped around here for easy storage. And I think it's a really nice, neat, compact machine. It's easy to store, doesn't take up too much room. So that's enough of looking at it. Let's see how good it is at picking up the type of things that my family and pets leave about in my house. Okay. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is the top step in my kitchen and this is where our stupid dog Copper likes to lie, so there is quite a bit of hair. This is a couple of days worth since I last vacuumed in here. I think I last vacuumed, this is Friday, it would have been Wednesday. He's also been chewing at the wood and scratching off paintwork. Um, so I'm hoping you can see that there's a mixture of his hair, there's also some bits of fluff from a toy we gave him, which he's now distracted. A piece of ball, can you see that piece of ball? What else have we got down here? So it's amazing what we can collect. Oh, and some bits of plastic. So I'm gonna show you how well the Vax Air Stretch Pet deals with picking up that. So I'm using the ex extra hose, which I've connected, as I showed you earlier. And then I've added this, and it will be quite loud. So here goes. switched over and I'm going to use this one just to go along the very ends there where I can't quite get that other attachment. Okay so that's taken a couple of minutes and I'm hoping despite the dodgy lighting that you can see a real difference there where at once there were lots of copper hairs and now there are none and it's picked up those bits of plastic and a piece of ball and I'm now going to demonstrate how well the um, Vax cleans up on my hard floor, which is probably covered with some more hair, some bits of fluff from his toy, a bit of rubber, <laughs> and um, possibly over there there'll be some broken. I'm going to select that one. And then I'm going to show you the power button on there. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate to you how good it is on a hall carpet. Um, that looks to me especially like a crushed dog biscuit, um, but again there's also some hair so let's see how it goes.
So some of the mess that my carpet endures is thanks to our stupid puppy who's decided to rip and chew one of his toys and show you how well it picks these things up. So another thing that my carvers endure are things that my cat decides to bring in. On this instance, he, she decides to bring in a bird and has chased it around Jensen's bedroom. Um, I've removed most of the dead bird and obviously due to poor lighting, you probably can't see how bad this bedroom carpet is covered in bits of feather. But I'm gonna show you how well the vac vacuum cleaner hoovers it up. The Vax Air Stretch Pet really is amazing and works wonders in my house. It really is a must have for my family with all our mess and especially now we have a dog and a cat. It's brilliant. I highly recommend it. <laughs>